Ten dollars into fives. Trilly Philly, the green, pink spots and cap. They're now set. Fire! Start to let them go. They're racing. From the inside, Locklear bounced out very quickly over Trilly Philly and Black Ruby Rose. Flagstick going up now to sit just in front of Olivia Nose after the break. Getting back towards the inside, Free Thoughts, and back there last is Regal Magic. They settle down, going into the bottom corner now, leaving the back straight, and Locklear had held the front. Locklear at the 800 metre mark and chewing the bridle, a half a length to the good of Trilly Philly. Flagstick well placed over on the outside of Black Ruby Rose, then a length and a half Olivia Nose, who was forced to ease back. On the outside of Free Thoughts and still last of all is the top weight Regal Magic in the direction of the home corner by the 500 metre mark and it's Locklear that leads the way. Soffing it up on the outside is Trilly Philly. They're going a fair way from home. It's Trilly Philly over on the outside. Stent goes up, joins Locklear who again kicks as they head for home. They're two in front now from Black Ruby Rose who cut back towards the inside. Flag stick and Olivia Nose are coming down the outside. Trilly Philly at the 200 had reached the lead. Locklear and now Olivia Nose down the middle of the track is gathering them all in with a hundred left to go and Olivia Nose ranges up, grabs the lead Locklear kicks back, goes to second again from Black Ruby Rose but Olivia Nose is too good, Olivia Nose drew away to win more than a length, Locklear who battled on grandly from Black Ruby Rose third, Free Thoughts Trilly Philly who tied after hitting the front have weakened back together and so did Flagstick and back there a distant last, in fact about ten lengths behind them is Regal Magic Olivia Nose, number four. Patrick Carberry. Down the outside, takes out the fourth race for the day from Locklear, who fought back determinedly after being taken on at the 500 metre mark by the well backed commodity Trilly Philly, which buckled to the pressure. Locklear fought back, though, and uh, showed plenty of grit. And Black Ruby rose over towards the inside. Looks as though it might have held third from Free Thoughts, the tiring Trilly Philly flag sticker no show. Olivia knows the winner is by Ukbar, a four year old mare for Greg McClure's Moreland Park, out of a daughter of Kendall Star. How do you know? Vaughan Sigley prepares and ridden by Patrick Carberry off two placings from three runs previously in this campaign. Her second win in 13. Locklear continues to race well by Seamus Award from Melrose Place. Brian Rogers, D. Foster, JJ Fitton, trained by Brian Rogers, ridden by Takahide Ikanushi. Third, number two, Black Ruby Rose. First up for Martin Allen, Brody Kirby in the saddle, a skilled mare from Ruby Slough. For PB, Mrs. K. Officer, Brian Officer, Mrs. SJ Officer, and also Martin Allen. A length and a half a neck of the official margins and they gallop the 1200 there the Phillies and Mares in 113.41 35.75 the concluding 600 metres. Next of the afternoon the running of the Amelia Park Handicap. It's over the 1000 metre dash at 335. We take out one Imperial Venus, five Amarillo Rose and ten Fire Ant. That's one, five and ten and it's a pay one too. They're just the seven runners to do battle in the second leg of the quaddy. Let's go down to Brittany Taylor joining us here after the victory of Olivia Nose and a, a nice little change of luck for Vaughan Sigley here at Belmont Park. Sure is, Darren. I've got Vaughan now and Vaughan, a relatively new horse to your stable, just had her for this campaign. She's been pretty consistent. What were your confidence levels like coming into today? Yeah, there was up in the air a little bit. Like She's only ever raced over 1,000 metres and 1,100 and uh, probably in her first prep she... Uh, just wanted to do it all all early and uh, we probably thought she was really just a thousand metre horse so this time in she's uh, decided to change tack herself a little bit and uh, in the thousands and get back a bit and we've been watching and thinking oh well, she probably should have won that if she was up on the pace but uh, no look I think uh, Greg said look we'll give her a go over the 1200 and uh, give her a chance and uh, the way she settled there today I think you know look she'll she, she might even get seven furlongs. So, no, that was, that was good. Good to see. She appeared very comfortable in how she was travelling in the run. Yeah, it was. It's, uh, like I said, the first prep, she just wanted to seem to overdo it a little bit and uh, and that's that's been totally up to her. She's probably just grown up a bit and uh, decided to just relax a bit more and, and be able to finish the race off. And she finished really strongly as well. What we saw through the line was probably the best of, the best of her work. Yeah, it was pleasing to see. You know, you get the the girls, I mean, so they, they all carry the 59 and things like that, but um, it's uh, good to see, yeah. Congratulations on the win. Thanks, Britt. Vaughan Sigley, and now we'll catch up with Paddy Carberry, who rode the horse last start, and 
Patty, you rode the horse last start, so did you come in today knowing her and with any confidence? Um, yeah, I've, I've always ridden her a fair bit of track work and, and so on. Um, last start was a good run. She suffered a bit of interference um, early on in the race and in those 1,000 metre straight races, it doesn't take much for them to get upset and um, she hit the line really well. And Today, stepping up to the 1,200 was a little bit of uncharted waters, but we've been really happy with the way she's been settling and hitting the line and uh, uh, she settled exceptionally well today and let down really well, balanced that well and let down good. Can you imagine her being even effective over a 1,400 metres, the way she settled today and hit the line? Yeah, I couldn't see why not. I think um, you know it's going to add, add another feather into her cap. If, if we can get her to a run of seven and settle as well as she did today, um, you know there's more opportunities for her. So, yeah, really pleased with the win. How's the track out there today? Yeah, it feels nice. Um, seems to be playing pretty fair, but feels good underfoot, so it's good. Congratulations on the win. Thanks, cheers. Track always feels good when you uh, have a victory like Paddy Carberry and Vaughan Sigley have just then with Olivia Nose. Still three races to come here from Belmont.